Now, humans have been walking around this planet for thousands and thousands of years. And only recently have we figured out vitamins and why we need them and why they're so important. Now, the term vitamin wasn't even created until 1912 when a gentleman named Casimir Funk figured out what was on the uh, outer layer of the husk of rice that prevented the disease called beriberi. And it was something called an amine, which is really just a fancy chemistry term. He then took Mr. Lin's finding about scurvy in 1747, about how there was something in oranges and limes that prevented the disease, and basically realized that these things were vital for life. And added the vit to the amine, and you put them all together, do 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 do, vitamin. That's how the term was created. Now, besides preventing the disease, scurvy and beriberi, vitamins do so many things for your health. They're very important. I'm sure someone can get them from eating a balanced diet, but I highly recommend a good multivitamin. There's a lot of reasons why. And one of the reasons is because our food supply simply doesn't have the vitamins and nutrients like it used to. A big reason why is due to something called soil depletion. Basically, farmers are great people, and they're in business to support their families and make money. That's why they get up and go to work, right? Like you do work. And what they do is they use chemicals which help them grow their crops bigger, faster, and fight off all these nasty insects and pests that hurt their crops, which helps them make money. But there's a downside. The downside is it actually depletes the crops of vitamins and minerals. That's one of the reasons why we're, we, our food doesn't have the vitamins like it used to. And you have the processing and all the other chemicals. Well, you get the one point. Now, to find out if you are deficient in a vitamin, there's actually a, a few self-tests you can do on yourself, which is kind of fun. One of them would be to press down on one of your bones, like a chest bone or another bone. And if you feel some pain, you, you press down a bone, some unusual pain, you might be deficient in vitamin D. Most people get this from the sun, but thanks to technology, computers, and video games, most people don't go outside like we used to. That's just a fact. <laughs> okay. Now, vitamin D, like I mentioned, plays a very important role for maintaining healthy bones. But it also does a lot of amazing things like your immune system. And your immune system will be weak if you don't have vitamin D. Lastly, deficiency can increase the odds of getting cancer, heart failure, diabetes, muscle weakness, gum problems. <laughs> yeah, don't be deficient in it. The next test you can do is close your eyes, stand up, and like put one leg out, like balancing it. Try to balance it yourself on one leg. And if you find yourself losing balance in a few seconds, it might mean you're deficient in vitamin B12, which has everything to do with the neurological system and your balance. It also plays a very key role in keeping your immune system strong, so you need this one. Uh, next vitamin I'm talking about is something called B6 helps keep blood pressure levels normal and uh, let's see here reduces the risk of cardiovascular disease like heart attacks prevents damage from inflammation too which is a big issue with ailments causing ailments and aging now some indicators that you may be lacking in b6 would be having any sores around the mouth some cracks on the outer layers of your lips as well Okay, another self-test you can do is if you have any dry, rough patches of skin or some peeling and splinting of some nails that you have, it could mean you need vitamin, B, uh, vitamin A. Also, if you have trouble seeing at night, that could be a, a warning sign too. The last one I'm going to talk about has to do with muscle cramps. And if you have frequent muscle cramps that you're not used to having, it could mean that you need magnesium. Now, this is actually very, very important for people who do a lot of strength training, are who work out a lot are very athletic most athletes and strength trainers they focus on things like creatine or whey protein which are great but they forget about their, their vitamins which are just as important if not more important actually than those see the more we work out the more we lose vitamins so especially if you work out a lot you need uh, to, to be aware of that now, magnesium also plays a, a key role in preventing heart disease diabetes, migraines, insomnia, as well as reduces blood pressure. And blood pressure is like a silent killer because it usually doesn't have symptoms. 
Now, if you do decide to take my advice and take a dietary supplement, which I really think you should, there are a few things you should be aware of. For starters, they're not all the same. And nobody ensures these products are safe before they hit the store shelves and people buy them, believe it or not. Sure, we have government agencies, but they actually, majority of them, think that it's up to companies to uh, ensure the product is safe and make sure they're honest. Which to me is like telling two sports teams, hey, we don't need a referee, just make sure you're honest and things will be great and lovely and rainbows and unicorns will pop out. <laughs> which doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but they don't have the resources really. And the sad truth is, is that many supplements in the marketplace have problems. To give you an example of this, the prestigious Consumer Labs in 2013 did tests on many of the popular top-selling supplements out there all over the world. And what they found was very shocking. Around 40% of them, almost half, had some type of problems. This problem could have been contaminations that, were, that could harm people and also mislabeling, meaning they, they advertised that you're going to get something, but uh, it wasn't there. Didn't contain the ingredients advertised. Now, to best protect yourself and your loved ones, I highly recommend you view a free report that I created all about shopping for dietary supplements. This report will explain how someone can identify a good supplement brand and what are some signs to look for in a product that is more riskier choice and some warning or red flags and warning signs that you may not be aware of, which can definitely help you. It also goes over a lot of herbal remedies, simplifies them, talks about some herbs that are very dangerous that you may not be aware of. Of course, goes over uh, the roles of government agencies and what they're supposed, what they do, which is fascinating, and, and how they do protect us if they do. Talks about uh, some online resources and a bunch more. Now, here's the thing: uh, due to the demand of this information, which there is a demand, and the supply is, you know, it's not that. There's no real supply. I've, I've Googled all these topics, and it's hard for me to find this kind of information out there on the internet. I could easily sell this report, but I did decide to make it free. And uh, so take advantage of it. All you got to do is simply click on the link right below this video to view that free report. I'm sure you'll learn a lot of great things in a very short amount of time. I hope this video helped a few people out there. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much, and have a great day, and stay healthy, and take vitamins.